Hello PTCB candidates, this is Ida Schmidt with another tutorial from PTCB Math Review. It's on concentrations and dilutions, but this time we will be covering solutions mixture. The following is the solutions mixture formula. Don't let the formula intimidate you. It's rather simple really. So you have an old volume one, which is the old volume one old strength one. That's part of the first solution. The second information is old volume two and old strength two. That's part of the second solution you're mixing together. So you're mixing together one and two to make the new volume and the new strength. You will use this formula when you are mixing two different strengths to make a third strength and you need to find any of the strengths or the final volume. If you were looking for the initial volumes, you could use the allegation formula. You would get from the problem five out of six values. The best way to understand a new concept is by working out a problem. So we are going to do one together, which reads a tick made 4,500 mls of a 35% solution. One of the initial compounds was 1500 mls of a 70% solution mixed with 3000 mls of another solution. What is the strength of the other initial solution? Step 1. We are going to use pictures with this problem so that we can identify all the values that are given. So we need to identify what it is that was given in the problem and also identify what is it that we are looking for. What is the question? What are they having us solve for? So in this case we have two starting solutions. It's a 70% solution and they told you you were going to use 1500 mLs. You're mixing it with a second solution, which they only told you that it's 3,000 mLs. They didn't give us a strength. So therefore, this is going to be your unknown, and you are looking for one of the initial strengths, or in other words, you are looking for one of the old strengths. They also gave you the new strength, which is 35%, and the new volume, which is 4,500 mLs. Notice that the 4,500 mLs is actually the addition of 1,500 plus 3,000. Step 2. Set up the math by following the formula. In our case, we're going to do pictures so you understand uh, the formula a little better. And then later on, you can fill in the formula yourself. Step two continued. We are setting up the math with pictures. So the formula states old strength one times old volume one. That is 70 times 1500 plus old strength two times old volume two. That is x times 3000 equals your new strength times your new volume, in this case 35 times 4500. Step 3. Multiply the strengths times the volumes. 70 times 1500 is equal to 105,000. X times 3000 is equal to 3000 X. And 35 times 4500 equals 157,500. Step 4. Solve algebraically by isolating 3000x first. So you have that in order to isolate the 3000x you need to leave it on one side of the equation or on one side of the equal sign. And you have 157,500. You need to subtract 105,000 from both sides, which will leave you with the following equation. 3000x is equal to 157,500 
minus 105,000. Step 5. Solve algebraically by dividing both sides by 3,000 to isolate the x. From the previous slide, we had 3,000x is equal to 157,500 minus 105,000. This is going to take us to the next step, which is to isolate um, the x. And to do that, you need to divide both sides by 3,000. So 3,000x divided by 3,000 is equal to 52,500 divided by 3,000. Step 5 continued. So we are solving algebraically by dividing both sides by 3,000 to isolate the x. So 3,000x divided by 3,000 is equal to x and 52,500 divided by 3,000 is equal to 17.5. Step 6. Answer the question. So if x is equal to 17.5, this means that x is equal to 17.5%. So your answer is 1,500 ml of a 70% solution was mixed with 3,000 ml of a 17.5 solution to make 4,500 ml of a 35% solution. So there you have it, my friends. I hope that this helps you find another solution to those many concentration and dilutions problems. If you like it, I would really appreciate it if you were to uh, give your seal of approval by clicking on like it. And also, if you would like to subscribe to my channel, I am putting up new videos, hopefully at least once a week, and uh, new things to come. So, happy studying! Thank you!